Welcome friends to a new video about dealing with aggressive cats on our YouTube channel. But before we start, make sure that you are a subscriber to our channel, and if you liked this video and benefited from it, do not forget to like and share the video. Cats, like people, may be aggressive in a variety of ways and at various times. It is typically feasible to control and even eliminate your cat's aggressiveness. The majority of cat aggressiveness cases are completely controllable and stem from fear, anxiety, a lack of socializing, or past traumatic life events. To modify its behavior, the cat demands our tolerance and compassion. If a cat is consistently violent, you should consider rehoming it to a farm where its aggression may be channeled into hunting. Understanding and managing your cat's behavior is essential for your safety and the safety of those who come into touch with your cat. One look for trends in your behavior. Cats might look perplexing or unpredictable to us, but we're just bad at reading their body language and deciphering what they're trying to say. But we do know that cat aggressiveness is characterized by a variety of different patterns. These can be divided into a number of situation-specific groups that are not mutually exclusive. When cats go too far with their play, they become aggressive. The cat's fear-slash-defense aggressiveness stems from a sense of being threatened, weak, or imprisoned. Territorial aggressiveness is most commonly seen in cats, although it may also be seen in people and other animals. Petting aggressiveness is a poorly understood condition that can result from overstimulation. Intermale violence is based on Tom's innate competitive character. The queen cat's instinctive protective response is maternal aggressiveness. Redirected aggression can result from a cat's inability to express displeasure, which is then directed against another target, such as a neighboring cat or human. Predatory aggressiveness is caused by cats that have had their predatory instincts activated. Pain aggressiveness is triggered by past or present pain feelings. Idiopathic aggressiveness is uncontrollable and can endanger the lives of people who come into touch with a cat. To pay attention to your cat's body language. Observing your cat's body language to see when it is ready to go on the offensive or defensive might help you manage the situation. Keep an eye out for indicators of impending violence, such as Positions of defense Tail curled in and coiled around the body Pupils partly or completely dilated, eyes wide open Ears on the head flattened sideways or backward Pilo erection, hair stands on end slash hackles up Instead of facing the opponent straight on, turn sideways Unerect, rigid, straight-legged posture. Tail that is stiff and is dropped or held straight to the ground. Swatting and paw striking. Fighting and biting. 3. Keep track of when the hostile conduct occurs. Is the cat aggressive when it comes into contact with a certain animal or person? Aggression is frequently the result of a specific stimulus. During times of aggressiveness, pay attention to the cat's surroundings so you can figure out what's causing it and modify the cat's behavior. 1. Give the cat some breathing room. While it's critical that the cat's surroundings stimulate it, a hostile cat is unlikely to desire to associate with humans. She need time and space to develop trust. Instead of dangling a toy in front of the cat's face, don't force playing until the cat appears to like it. 2. Give your cat a choice of toys to play with. Some cats prefer to play with toys that they can throw themselves. Other cats like toys that involve interaction from the owner, such as wiggle and dangling toys. Toys should be moved in such a manner that they resemble the motions of a mouse or bird to provide stimulating play for a cat. 3. Spend at least 20 minutes twice a day with your cat. For a person, 40 minutes is not that long. It has a significant impact on your relationship with your cat. This can strengthen your relationship with your cat while also allowing it to burn off some energy. 4. Make your cat an outside enclosure. Your cat will be more stimulated in a more complicated environment, and she will demand less care from you. An outside enclosure not only keeps your cat safe, but it also keeps other animals out. Include platforms and resting areas for her to explore and relax. Cats can watch leaves blow in the wind, birds fly and squirrels run about for hours. If you don't have access to an outside enclosure, make a window perch for your cat to sit on and gaze out the window. 5. Use pheromones that imitate a cat's natural odor. These pheromones are comparable to those released by cats when they brush their heads against something. This may help to relieve tension. While the aggressiveness is being addressed, apply a diffuser. Consult a pet expert for brand recommendations and application instructions.